In this segment, let's talk about fronts and pressure systems. Of course, when I'm talking about a front, I'm referring to a, a warm front or a cold front, a high pressure system or a low pressure system. There are, of course, too many different types of fronts, but I'll only cover the basics. So when we're talking about a low pressure system, if you're looking on a map, an L represents a low pressure system. And a low is a region of pressure um, or a low center that's usually accumulating uh, precipitation, moderate winds, or extensive cloudiness. So around a low is usually where you will see rain. This is usually. Now a high pressure system, of course, is the opposite of that. It's marked with an H on the maps and it usually does indicate fair weather. Uh, associated with a high and a low pressure system, this is where the fronts come into place. A warm front is a front that really moves in a way that it replaces the cold or the cooler air. A cold front is on the leading edge of a relatively colder air mass and it separates these two air masses. So if you have a high pressure system or a low pressure system, it's usually uh, you're going to have a warm and a cold front associated with this. Now there are other types of fronts too. A stationary front, for instance. A stationary front, very interesting. Basically, it is just that it lies stationary. It doesn't go, um, it doesn't move very quickly. So sometimes even with stationary fronts, if you're getting a lot of rainfall, for instance, this is where flooding can come into play because the rain is not moving, the winds are not carrying the rainfall uh, at, a, at a faster pace. So therefore, if you have a stationary front and the rain is falling, you've got precipitation, you're going to have flooding in the area because it's not moving and the rain is coming down in one area. So that's just very, very basics of a warm front, cold front, stationary front, and a high and low pressure system.